everybody, welcome back for another sublimation tutorial. Today we're gonna look at troubleshooting printing with the DTF transfer film. A lot of people are having problems with their printers not wanting to grab the film to print or feed through. There are a few tricks that we can use to get the printers to recognize a, a regular piece of paper. That way it will print with your film so you can print those pretty images and then get them transferred onto your materials. I'll go ahead and show you three different tricks that can get your printer to recognize your film as a piece of paper so that way it'll feed through your printer. So what we'll need is DTF transfer film. I personally like to use the Yamation brand. It works really well. You get great results and the colors come out really vibrant. If you're interested in trying the Yamation brand, down in the description, there's a link to where you can get it. Also with 10, 15, and 30% discount codes as well to use in your checkout. Okay, so the first trick I'm gonna show you is just with a piece of painter's tape. It's the most simplest trick to do and it just requires going right on the edge of it. This trick is gonna help your printer's sensor recognize something that's clear. Because our transfer paper, it is kind of see-through, it's translucent a little bit. So the sensor's having a hard time picking up what it's supposed to be grabbing. So our regular paper that we send through, it's uh, very dense, so it recognizes that's a piece of paper. If it doesn't recognize it, then it's just gonna send it through until it realizes it needs to grab something. So that's what these tricks are for. This painter's tape, you're just gonna line up on the edge of your film. And I just like to do a little overlap. That way I can still use my whole piece of printer uh, film and you just really make it nice and smooth and then also make sure you're taping on the right side um, that you're supposed to be printing on the shiny side is always down or on the back side so once that's on there just go ahead and take it up and then you're just going to really gently fold it over again make sure it's nice and smooth and the reason i like to do just a little piece on the over, uh, the regular side, is now that it still has a good overlap on the back side, so it's not translucent all the way, it's still gonna recognize that it's something there. And then you'll just gently fold this over, or you can cut it off, whatever works best for you. All right, so there you have your first trick. Now we'll go ahead and send this through the printer and show you how it prints with that. All right, so our second trick here is using just a plain piece of paper and a little bit of tape. It doesn't have to be anything special. This, I believe, is just from the dollar store. But what we're going to do is tape our film to our paper, and that way, again, the printer just has something to recognize. And what you want to make sure of, again, is that your film is the correct way. You want the side that you're going to be printing on upwards. So the shiny side is always down because you're not printing on that. So we'll go ahead and just overlap our film and our paper. And I like to just make sure they're really nice edge to edge, just like that and as centered as possible. And then what you're gonna do is very just gently tape one right here, one right here, and then I like to do just one right here. Not a whole lot of tape, just little pieces. So now we're just going to fold our piece of tapes over. That way it's nice and flat and connected. And then if you'd like for good measure, you can put one here also. I don't, but it's whatever works best for you. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and send this one through the printer as well and see what it does for us.
All right, so the third trick is putting your DTF film on top of a stack of either plain paper or a stack of a DTF transfer film. I prefer to use the plain paper, but if the plain paper doesn't work for you, um, there's an option to do this, and I'll explain the why. You can also do this as well. But we'll go ahead, um, we'll do this first. Um, again, you just stack it on top of the stack of paper. Make sure it's lined up and we'll feed that through or feed it through however your printer picks it up. Um, if it's a front load tray, you wanna have your film facing downwards cause it'll feed up like that. If it's a rear end load like mine is, you just have it where you have it, the film facing you and it'll feed down. Um, a lot of the times this works just fine because your printer realizes there's paper in there to grab. So it's not just fishing for paper. So that's a good method to use. Also though, if this doesn't work for you, you can send your whole stack, just put it into your tray. Um, because there are times where the printer It'll feed one through right away, but it'll come back and start trying to grab another piece of film or paper. Um, and as long as there's a second film for it to grab, it will grab that second piece. But if there's nothing in the tray, then it's just gonna say that you're out of paper. So that's what this uh, stack of film is useful for, but your stack of plain paper should work also. So we'll go ahead and feed the stack of plain paper through and see what we get with that. All right, so we have them all lined up here. You can see all the prints came out really nice, really clear, no smudge wheels, no marks. There is a tutorial also for the print settings that I have specifically for the DTF sublimation hack. So go ahead and check that out. I'll link it in the descriptions and up above here. That way you guys can print without getting those smudges or pizza wheels. This one here was done with the painter's tape. This one was done taping the film to a plain piece of paper. And this one was done with putting a bundle of plain paper in the feed tray. So you can see all three methods do work pretty well. So if you're having a hard time getting your printer to feed your film through, try one of these three tricks or also the stack of film like I had mentioned earlier. Let me know down in the comments if these tricks or tips helped you and which one worked the best for you. If you enjoyed this tutorial, if it helped you, go ahead and boop that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share for others so they can get helped as well. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting.